What are these? Like little holders? Mine holders? Those are sick. Dude. Look at that. That's nutty. Wow. The selection. It's huge. It's humongous. It is called the Big Liquor Warehouse. Oh, oh, that makes sense. A warehouse full of big liquor. Cinerator. Hot cinnamon whiskey. Hot in, cinnamon? Thinking that you could put this against your uh, amaretto's type thing. Oh, yeah. I just never heard of it. Amador. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Finished. Hmm? In Chardonnay wine barrels. Oh my goodness. That might be tasty. Not heard of that one before. Tons of angels in here. Oh wow, yeah. It's Blackened a lot. for days. Oh. Uncle Nearest. Wow. They got it all. They really do. Tons of whatever this few is. Oh yeah. Oh, they got tons of Old Smoky and Old Forester. And they've got Driftless Glen. Whoa, I've never even seen that. Old Smoky, if they had, they don't. Peach. Mm. Salty so watermelon. This. Mango habanero. Whoa. That sounds pretty good. That might be a tasty morsel. Yep. That's crazy. They got the Duke. Hirsch? Driftless Glen is out of Wisconsin, I believe, which is where we're going. It is. Hot ah, dang. Stay long for the ride. Well, there's your traveler down there. Where is Last it? Last bottle. Last bottle. Last bottle for anybody still looking for one up here. This Bernheim uh, wheat. Yeah. Is this the one that Rob liked? Or is this. You yeah, have this one? we have the barrel strength one of it. Oh, okay. Not the small batch. Heard. Good price though. Only oh, 28 yeah. bucks. That's crazy good. The bourbon just keeps going forever and ever. This is the rice, the whiskeys, the bourbons all mixed together here. Old granddad, hunter brew, bonded. That's a good one to have for 25 bucks. Tons, tons and tons of old elk. Tons of old elk. Our you need, you need an old elk hook up, here it is. Straight wheat whiskey. Ooh, this would be a good one to put up against uh, Bernheim. Ooh, yeah. Crazy. Crazy selection. Artie won. We have the uh, double oak rye. For Peerless? Yeah. hey -o. For the wind, double oak rye. Although that one lost for me, didn't it? Yes, it did. Well, they got what else? Party one, four roses. Oh my gosh. Everything. Whatever that is. Yeah. And tons of stuff all back up in there. Oh my gosh. Kentucky Owl for days. Great coast. The what? Great coast, that says. Interesting. Tons of Elijah Craig. If you're Tons. needing Elijah Craig, just the regular stuff. Yep. Sazerac for days. Yep. Oh my god. And they gosh. got everything. Hill Rock. And they got some bookers left up there too. Oh yeah. 2023. We out. Chia? Divine Liquors in, uh, where are we at? Wisconsin? Divine. River Wisconsin. Falls? River Falls, Wisconsin. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. Um, that's yeah, incredible. Uh, Ooh, that's a good year. We have, um, yeah, a good a, amount of years. It, it's a good one for, our first one we ever got was a 13 year barrel. Oh, and doing oh, that wow. one, I, it was like, I didn't know what I had until it was almost gone. So I had sure. one bottle. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. House, and every time I look, it's like, I dare not open it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that one was really good. Um, Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, this is local. A lot of local stuff isn't quite as good as so It's not bad. Yeah, we have, uh, these are all the, these guys are all <coughs> pretty good. We have samples of them too if you're interested. Oh, that'd be great, yeah. And then, uh, 
come over here. The other corner's back over this way. Driftless Glen. Keep hearing about that one. Is that any good? Yeah, that would be out of open, so I can let you try it. Oh, fine. Sure. Yeah. You can hear it, but the, um, the, the shelf burp is right here, and then you know, this corner here kind of changes around stuff. So oh, wow. Up with it. Like, it never fills, like, so these stacks fell off. Okay. <laughs> like, nightly. <laughs> yeah. So, like, every day, goes for another one. And it never fails, someone come back and be like, they'll grab the one bottle, like, how much is this one? You know, then yeah. So, it's like, yeah. But, so these areas, and then we have our area where people open the shop, so we have our Wow, that's sweet. This is incredible. It's kind of like, it's funny, we get a lot of people come over here and they like refuse to tell your friends. And it's like, please tell your friends. Yes, like, yes. Tell yeah, everybody. More allocations. Yeah, exactly. This is awesome. That's nice fire. Yeah, we opened this with my wife and I like 15 years ago. This was a daycare center before. For really? real. And when we got our phone line here, for whatever reason, we would get phone calls from the daycare center. They'd be, people would call and say, hey, is this bean sprouts? I asked the phone, Divine Liquors. Yeah, and they'd yeah. be like, oh, uh, do you guys have any openings for like the uh, newborns? I'm like, no, do not bring your newborn. <laughs> yeah, do not do that. Ever, please, please. <laughs> There's absolutely no reason to bring your newborn here. Yeah. And then like, we'd get families would come by on their bicycles. And so like, I grew up in a household, my mom doesn't drink or smoke. Yeah. And so I really wasn't raised around anyone drinking. So to me, like, I never was in liquor stores until I was like 21, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. People come here, like families come on their bicycles and they park their bikes up on the all the kids come here, run around. <laughs> and we just find anything, they're like, oh, we used to take our kids here for daycare. We're just checking the place out. And kids, we, <laughs> yeah. Remember, they're in this room back here or whatever. It's like, oh, yeah. that's incredible. That's awesome, weird. dude. <laughs> that's Sweet, awesome. Man. Cool. Yeah, we well, we'll take a look around for yeah. a little bit and then uh, yeah. stop then back up. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, fire. That's incredible. Yeah. The whole store. Sonoma? Triple finish? Are you kidding me? I'm so excited. Already won. Four Already win. won. Great prices, too. Yes. Like, you won't find it for that. That's in soda. Right. Like that's incredible. Wow. Huge. Uh, Elijah Craig, straight rye. Okay, yeah. If you're looking to make a ton of rye old fashioned, oh. <laughs> that's your guy. That looks awesome. And for only 57 bucks. Hey! That's crazy. Freshman rye. Wow. Yeah, a little bit of everything here. Yeah, they do. It's incredible. Yep. Hundy percenti. This is nutty. You really gotta check this place out if you are anywhere near yes. River Falls, Wisconsin. Definitely. This is insane. This is the spot. This <gasps> store picks for days too. Yep, hundred percent. Tattersaw. Yes, please. Wow. Wow. Wisconsin, right? Yeah. Yeah, Bergen, Wisconsin. Okay. Did you buy the Dells? Yeah. Okay. Um, and their packaging is fantastic. The company's good. You know, yeah. The guy was a nice guy. Um, you know, local, you age is slower, right? So I'm always mm -hmm. skeptical of that. Because of the climate reason. or whatever. And the one thing, yep. do you remember during the, the push for like the clear whiskeys, there was like Jim Beam Ghost. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I was like drinking those then, I was like, oh, this is horrible. And they're like, yeah, here's the whole deal, the whole spiel. It's like, yeah, so they don't put a barrel, it never hits a barrel. It's like, you guys realize this is and just so now sport. because of that yeah. whole that whole that whole like trend that went through with a flash in the pan. Yeah, I can taste that young unaged. Yes. right away. Yep. And so it's like yeah, yeah. It, I can taste if it's young. I can right away and go. Oh, that's like two year old whiskey. I don't yeah, know, it does know. taste a little young, but it is good though. Man, oak the oak in the back end is fabulous. Yeah, they just recently started up. Yeah, they're not that old. But yeah, like I said, like their bottle stands out. Yeah. You know, the on the side. Yeah, I saw that. That was that's yeah, cool. It's a, it's, a, it's a good package. They're doing good good stuff. And with time, you know, I remember when we first got 45th in here, 
I was like not impressed. Yeah. But now I like all their stuff they do because back then it was just it was just young. Their average, I think their average barrel then or their the juice in the bottle was like average of like two and a half three years. Oh, now okay. it's like five. Yep. And that you know for this for this climate you got, I think you had to get fired. Sure, it's for least, sure. yeah, for yeah. sure. And you know, easy for me to say, I'm not sitting on a huge investment staring at barrels. You know I mean? Right. And so I don't blame uh, them. We need to get this out. <laughs> yeah. I went to Panther Distilling up in Northern Minnesota. Okay, yep. They're great, nicest people. Wonderful. They had a real nice setup, uh, you know, really good thing going on there. I don't have like, a little fruitiness to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll put it in your hands. Oh, it's getting thumb. better. Oh, right on. Oh, there. Thank you. The next one here we can do. Uh, it, it did get better. Yeah, as you keep it, sipping it, yeah. Yeah. it gets better and better. Yeah, it does. It, it's, yeah, it comes, comes clean there. Yeah. That's it, right off the nose. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this one I like. This one I knew too when I popped the bung. So you, 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 you go in to taste them. Sometimes you get to pop your bung. Sometimes, like right now, like Buffalo Trace. Yep. They already have them all poured out for you. Oh, uh, sure. Since COVID, they don't let you like handle the barrel at all, uh, which is uh, unfortunate. Yeah, it sucks. But with Bean, you're still like you're there with the, with the mallet, hanging up, popping nice. the bung. And when the, when the bung pops, I know that's like a good sign. So I try really hard not to like. Uh, you're, I'm like, okay, I know this one's gonna be good, but I'm a blind taste it anyways. Yeah, yeah. I'm not biased, but yeah. that one I knew right off the bat. And it was, it was. This is smooth on smooth. Oh, man. This is this. delicious. Gotta add this one to the list. 118. Mm. Oh, 120 proof. Always. Yeah, it was the. Man. Yeah, this one is. When you do these picks too, it's like 10 in the morning. Oh, All right. Okay. So it's like Which trying. is kind of good, right? Because yeah. your palate. Your palate. Right, so you try to make sure you don't have any coffee that morning. Yep. You know, I try to make sure that, like, you know, I eat like a bread with my breakfast so it okay. kind of cleans everything up. Yep. Okay. Go in there and taste it. And then I'm always nervous because I do all of our picks, right? It's like some of our picks have had some really good, uh, like, people are like, oh, I love your picks, which is flattering, but at the same time that you're like, you know, I don't want to, like, the next pick I pick, you know what I mean? Right. I did pick I, a dog. Right, because you know? right, like, then they're they expecting like, yeah. yeah. And I'm your head about it. Yeah, yeah, and I'm out there and too, it's like, just the climate change is like, I might worry about stuff sure, else. Sure. And so like, I'm only, oh, sure. I'm only yeah. tasting a little bit of what I could be tasting. But um, sometimes that helps because it helps you not taste the alcohol. Yeah. Right. And so once you get past that, you can actually taste the yep. flavors. Flavors, so, sure. But, yeah, this so whenever I go to Jim Beam, I was like, oh, it's gonna be like a 1030 tasting. And I know my whole day is like, gonna be just a Yeah. Oh yeah. A gonna, oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is. You're gonna, you're gonna like that, the foolproof. Yeah. Well, that one's a good one. That one's gonna be That's good. A good pick. I gotta grab this one too. Our best, our best pick was um, our, our 107 antique. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. Oh. oh my gosh. That one, it's at the library. The next time you guys go there, there's one open. I have one on my shelf for sure. And I think that uh, I know for a fact that uh, Chris has one unopened, and I want to say Mike has one too. Right on. Um, and that one's from like five years ago. Oh. One of those two barrels is with the barrel. So like, oh, for real? Yeah, and so like that one, people are trading the online stuff. But like, oh, I know it. Keith, who's also part of the club there, as a joke, put up a bottle for a thousand bucks, and a lady bought it like in an hour. No way! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know if she just didn't know what she was doing, or if she had heard, you know. But like, yeah, yeah people are trading. It's like, a, oh my god, that's yeah. crazy. That's insane. Yeah, so it's like to me, that's like the flattering part, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. But then also, it's like I don't want to screw this up. Next yeah, time right. Yeah, and that's why it's like. They'll pitch me a barrel, like, why do you want this barrel? It's like, I can't put my name on that, dude. Like, I'm sorry. Right, right. Yeah, so all three of these ones, we have the Rise of Fall. The light whiskey is a smoking infection, so it's kind of like a, a burnt marshmallow flavor. Okay. Yep. And then the bourbon one is, uh, it drinks almost like a cognac. That's why it says the vine is so PR. Oh, nice. Right on. Again, I had a name these at like 8.25 in the morning. I was like, is that a name you know, You should tell how long it's looking to name the store. Like, my last name is not Divine. You know? Oh, sure. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, right. people, people are like, oh, you, are you John Divine? Like, no, I'm not. It's like, I didn't want to be so vain, like, my name on Main Street. Like, just yeah. Yeah, like, you know, picture me like this. Like, all yes. of you know, and just be like that guy. Yeah, so, yeah it's like, like one of those movie yeah, arms. Yeah, yeah, right. They have the two arms and the blinks back and forth. Yes. Um, they would never allow that on Main Street. Yeah, I bet. You couldn't put up like a yard sign here. Really? Every small town. Sure, sure. When we in city council, they're making decisions on businesses and often they never ran on. Yeah, right. <clears throat> yeah, Knob Creek was, that was good. Delicious.
The Knob Creek's on their own, I feel like, is one of the few store picks that, like, everyone has one. So right. It's, like, it's worth collecting just the store picks. True. Yep. You know, and there's a couple of the Libro Library, there's a few people who have, like, depth. And yeah. Their, and there's their uh, Knob Creek store pick. This one, this one is uh, 118 proof. Ooh, now we're talking. Ooh. MB, M, uh, MGP juice. And these guys are out of yeah. Illinois. Word. Mm. Wow. That smells so good. Oh. So if you look at the bottle, they're the all one. different. For so the reason, I guess I just, I got to pick. You know? Right. I don't have the... That's incredible. But this one is a counter top of the... Yep. Yeah. I got I to pick it all. That is so good. That's it. Dude, this is really good. Oh my That's God. That's the one. Yeah, this is really good. Again, so they, wow. went, they did that one blend, so there's only 60 bottles ever made. So is there any left? We have them back on the shelf. Oh, we're going to be taking one yeah. for sure. Yeah. That, that one, is this so one, good. Yeah, I'm wow. of it. This one is, like, they did the blend, and it's like, oh my God, it worked out. You know, because again, you, I, I work a Mixture, yeah, 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 yeah. So this whole thing, I don't know. I like to drink. Yeah. Yep. I have no professional sure insight on how to sure do anything. But it is fabulous. Even the nose is just. It's so like there's surreal. like baking spice in there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And that, yeah, this one's fruity too. Yeah. It really opened up in this bottle. That is incredible. That is so good. So you have to pick the label, the, the shape of the label, like everything to it. It's like you crushed it. It really you makes did. it really makes it like unique to your store. Yeah, you guys got to get this one, please. If you it want is some so good, good stuff. And it was only sixty bottles, and some of them are gone, and 100%. we're taking one, so yeah. we're running out. Yeah. You better get here, man. Island wine. Island wines. Should be interesting. Let's Should go check be. it out. Okay. Um, I've got Ooh. an aisle here. Those are our bear pick, barrel picks. Oh, we like the barrel picks for sure. There's scotch. Okay. Uh, rum, bourbon, tequila. Yeah, me too. A lot of ours are right. All around. And then uh, some of our allocated stuff. Okay. Out to it. Right on. We just randomly hide them. Oh, nice. You know. Yep. Just make people look around. Look exactly. Them, you know. Yeah, yeah. Fun. You guys that are familiar with yeah. stuff, you know. I mean, I a guy a couple weeks ago found a bottle of Eagle Rare over in the wine department. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. You know, we just, yeah, we just stopped in down uh, in San John. Yeah, Divine. Oh, did you? Yeah, he said you guys got to come up here. And I was like, yeah, Mike told us about it too. So he said you guys got a barrel of RD1 coming in soon. Should be next week. Ooh, nice. Yeah, yeah the Amberana. That's a good one. Yeah. But you got it at cask, right? 120. <sighs> yep. That's going to be phenomenal. So it, uh, you've had their, their version of it. Yep, yep. Um, I think our this one is just a little milder. Uh, okay. Oh, sure. It's got a little more bourbon back. Oh, nice, nice. But still definitely that flavorful. Love that. Love that. So, yeah, that one is, uh, it, it's been shipped. Okay. Now you just wait on the uh, distributors like always. <laughs> Love it. Sweet. We'll check it out. Thanks a bunch. Sounds good. Yeah, any questions? Sorry. Will do. What do you got over there? Ooh. Infinity Blend. Have you ever heard of that for the old elk? Yep. Okay. So what he does is, Greg Menz is the master distiller for old elk now. He used to be at MGP. Okay. And now he takes several of his bourbons and whiskeys that he had from the year and blends them all into one infinity like you would make an infinity bottle. Yes, right. He makes an infinity blend, blend of all of his stuff, which is baller. That's gangster. Right. Oh, that's fire. Bardstown Foursquare, finished in Foursquare rum. Oh, word. Cask. Baller, I've heard. I haven't had it. That's amazing. This one here is cool because it's finished in Goose Island. 
So Goose Island is that beer company. Beer, yes. That finishes it in bourbon. And then they take that and finish it again back in. <laughs> How sick is that? <laughs> That's so sick. So sick. That's dope. Ooh, here's here. this. Ooh, and it's barrel number 69. Hey, yo. That, that if, if have that's to, not Steve Huffman. Might have to grab that. <laughs> <laughs> they do have some holiday back here as well. What? Yeah. We got oh, some yeah, yeah. holiday back here. Those are good. Yes. Really soft red wheat. It's incredible. Mm. Oh, dang. They got a ton of bars down, down here. You've probably seen it all, though, huh? Not, not all not of it. All of it. <laughs> not all of it. We want to. But we appreciate selections like this, though. Yeah, this is incredible. My goodness. All of the origin stuff. Wow. Fusion. Wow. Discovery series. Oh, those yeah, are yeah. killer, yeah. Wow. That's awesome. What's your fave? <laughs> Too many, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hear that. Yeah. Yeah, do you have a do you have a daily? I guess the affordability, Elijah Craig yeah. here. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, uh, yeah. Yep. Solid. Yep. Have you guys seen the new Rio up here late? Yeah. We got, uh, we got a couple of bottles on the initial drop. Yep. We're supposed to eat it and we storm something. Oh, we got a couple more on our second. Oh, nice. It's Sunday. I'll be here. Have a good one. Right. Why don't you meet? I mean, I've tried several. Right? Yeah. Yep. Dang, it's just so dry. much good stuff. JD single barrel select. <laughs> How do you even keep up with all of it? Master right. Come here, straight water whiskey. Booker's Jacob's black and blue. This one, small batch American whiskey. The bootleg, right? Bootleg. Yeah. I don't know. Luca Mariano. You got a rye. What about this uh, Amberana rabbit hole? So we did a. <laughs> we tried the one. Somebody at the whiskey library had one. Oh, did they? And so we got to try it when we were doing a podcast there, okay. and it was good. Yeah, that was nutty. That's awesome. That's so sick. So much. Oh my gosh. So how long have you had this place? Oh, right on. Oh, nice. It used to be a bait shop. Cool. Uh, actually, and that's the time uh, the only way to obtain a liquor license is to get Oh, wow. And at the time, there was four other bait shops in town. Take this little direction. You know, there you go. Yeah. 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 You're only dead men at the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> right? So. Yeah. No doubt. So we initially started with uh, kind of dabbling more with you know, craft beer and stuff like that than anybody in the area had. Yep. We saw we were willing to do that. Well, can you get this? Can you get that? And yeah. Follow the trends. That's awesome. Yep. It's fun. It's frustrating on this end. Do as much as the guy in the Looking for those rare spots, right. trying to get them is hard too. You know, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Play a lot of games to sure. qualify. You know. Sure, yeah. Yeah, that's the tough part yep. on all the sides, except for. Seems like the distributors and the uh, distilleries have it all pretty good. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Wow. Yeah, so you can... 100% malted barley. That seems like a good one. <laughs> Dang. Belmine. Oh, 
Kentucky Owl, Templeton 10. Do, do, do. They got uh, your Bell Mead. Oh, but it's not the reserve. No, uh, it's not the reserve. Dang it. Oops. That is a good one, though. Wow. Yeah, some good <laughs> stuff. So good. This single barrel, uh. Ooh. Rye. Russell Rye. Still haven't tried that one. So much good stuff. Pastor Brooks, 99 proof. Yeah, old yeah, Ezra, nice. seven year. Barrel strength and full proof. Rye. rye. One is rye, okay, yes. Ooh. Fire. So killer. There's your Templeton 10. Yep, saw that. Hot dang. So cool. So good. There's the decadence again. Yep. This doesn't end. <laughs> Holy cow. You got it all. Woo. Driftless. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Love the tatter saw, like the driftless. Like even like these club because they're just like down low. Wow. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that maple is amazing. That's very cool. Dang. Yeah, that's gangster. Y'all got to get in here. Yeah. On your get, way to get, the get, get your butts in here. On your way to the cabin. That's right. This right on spot. the way to the cabin. This is your spot for sure. Yep. I know where I'm going to the cabin now. Yup. On the way to the cabin. Right here. Mm. So incredible. Got your knob nine. Got your knob seven. Is that a rye? Yeah, a seven year rye. Oof, small batch smoked maple and nine year. So fire. Yup. Dang. So then, these guys, they rebranded Bell Mead to this. Word. Yep. Dang. And so we did a head to head. These guys, this one is their reserve yep. versus the Bell Mead reserve. Yep. Bell Mead's 108, this one's 107. <whistles> That's a good head to head. It was a good head to head. Bell Mead won, I think it was just in our heads. Okay. But I'd like to do a blind blind. Yes. Or like we don't know which one's which. Yeah, that'd be that sweet. That would be cool. Yeah. That'd be perfect. Mm hmm. Horse soldier. Davis County. Haven't heard of that one. Me either. That's cool. It's like an old Forrester bottle. Kinda. Kinda. Except with the lip at the bottom. Coppercraft. Coppercraft. Barrel pick. Ooh. Smells well, great. Cool. At 110. Part of our raffle allocation last year. Oh, wow. Dang. Yeah, that was. That'll yeah, work in a pinch. Yeah. That is awesome. If you're wondering now uh, what kind of raffle you need to be a part of, this is the one. Dang. Mm hmm. Get here to Island Wines. Yep. Get here. Yeah, this is where it's at, for sure. Woo! I bet. Yeah, and it's worth it. How many tickets did you think we had? At least 6,000, maybe? Holy cow. At least. Dang. Ooh, that's wow. good. That's Isn't very that good. Isn't that tasty? That's very wow. good. Wow. Wow. 
Wow. Oh, okay. Because they have a distillery now, right? Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Yeah, that one's got an interesting story too, I think. Mm. We gotta get it. Hey. Gotta support the people. 100%. Awesome. It's worth it. <laughs> no, it's no. good, yeah. And I love the bottle as well. Yeah, yeah that's cool. It's a cool bottle. Yeah. Yeah, what are you guys thinking of that? Have you I haven't that? tried it yet. No. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Huh. Yeah, I just saw that in John's place too. Yeah. The owner, the distiller, somebody must have a connection to Wisconsin that, sure. that we're getting there. Sure. Um, and I'm not, I gotta figure out the full story on that. Get in here and get their, wow. their store picks. <laughs>